You know those time capsule projects where everyone puts a letter object into some sort of container and then they totally forget about it for years dig it out, like, eons later? Well, Queen Elizabeth II kind of pulled one of those, except in her version, she apparently opted to pan a top secret letter to the residents of Sydney, Australia, and not a letter to herself saying she hopes she wore her retainers after years of hating her braces era. But I digress. Back to the matter at hand. The late Queen allegedly wrote a top secret letter that will remain sealed until 2085, according to the New York Post. The monarch, who died last Thursday at the age of 96, wrote the letter back in 1986 to celebrate that year's restoration of Sydney's Queen Victoria Building, a monument that was originally built in 1898 and honors the Diamond Jubilee of Elizabeth's great-grandmother Queen Victoria. Although what exactly is in the letter isn't known yet, it wouldn't be far-fetched to think that it thanks the city's residents for saving the building after it was almost demolished in favor of a parking lot. A refresher, well, kind of, since it's a versus niche history fact, in 1986, a Malaysian company signed a 99-year lease on the edifice until 2085, which is, yep, you guessed it, the same year the Queen's letter is to be opened and made public. Maybe in the letter, she'll ask for the lease to be continued so the building stays safe? Just a guess. While we won't know until the letter is finally opened, there are specific instructions for Sydney's Lord Mayor that read, on a suitable day to be selected by you in the year 2085 AD, would you please open this envelope and convey to the citizens of Sydney my message to them. According to 7 News Australia, not even the Queen's personal staff knows what the contents of the letter conceal, since the note is hidden inside a glass case in a restricted area located at the top of the Queen Victoria Building, MMK, love the dramatic national treasure vibe here. Meanwhile, following the Queen's death last Thursday, Sydney's Opera House was lit up to pay tribute to the longest reigning monarch of the UK. Soon after, the country also proclaimed King Charles III as its newest head of state in more than 70 years.